Jack here and welcome to another Football Manager Tips and Tricks video. I haven't done one of these in a while but there's been something that I need to get off my chest because people are asking about it well too much. I'd rather put it in a video for you guys and then I don't have to answer it in every comment of every video I ever upload ever again because it's happening every video. and. There's no such thing as a stupid question, don't get me wrong, but you've driven you've driven me to this, guys. People who have asked me for the how I get the arrows on my tactics, I'm going to answer that for you today. So anyway, let's get straight into this. First things first, uh, there are some disadvantages to having arrowed tactics and uh, converting to classic tactics, but for those wondering uh, how you get the arrows, we'll cover that first and then I can talk a little bit more about everything else. But basically, you need a tactic that's just a regular tactic. So, this is a regular tactic. It's one that you can't draw arrows on. If you right-click, you can't move the players up the field with arrows. Um, that Each player has a role that you assign them. Uh, and the team tactics are all kind of simplified and dumbed down. Which is great, and these tactics are fine if you're getting into the game. But I very strongly recommend doing what I'm about to show you in enhancing the tactical control you have as a manager. It will help you win games more from my own experience and improve your overall performance as a manager. So what you do is you select the tactic that you want to convert um, and you go to options, convert to classic. Um, so one of the disadvantages of converting to classic is that you lose the ability to set player roles. I'll come on to the alternative in a second. The other thing you lose is the ability to do shouts during matches. Which, to be honest, shouts, at least from my own experience, although they can make a difference, they never really seem to have a huge impact on the game for me. So anyway, uh, when it comes to tactics, what do you do now? Well, basically, once you've converted your tactic to a classic, like I have done here, you right-click on any player and you're able to drag them forward to set a run. So if I want Song and Iniesta to run up, I just right-click, drag forward and reposition. If I want Xavi to get back, I just right-click and drag back. So one disadvantage with this is you don't get the ability to set player roles with this kind of tactical system, which, I don't know, it's a little bit of a drawback and it's one of those kind of trade-offs, I suppose. But what this is going to offer you is a lot more kind of control over your team's tactics. So as well as getting the arrows, you also get the ability to set your team's kind of instructions with sliders so rather than having the traditional or it's not really traditional because this is what FM used to be like but rather than having the kind of set as defensive counter control attack or overload uh, you, you do everything off sliders so drag up here that's the equivalent of overload here is attacking here is control you get the idea basically dragging the sliders here is the same as dragging the option menu down and choosing one of the mentalities the difference being that you have a lot more control over it if you're on the default FM skin, you won't get these numbers down the right hand side. I highly suggest trying to find a skin that does so. Uh, my skin is called Stelco X3, I want to say. I think it's Stel Steklo. Steklo. S Let me check. I can check this for you guys. But um, I highly recommend a skin that's going to uh, basically help you. I'm running a modified version of the skin, so you might not have all the stuff I have. Um, in fact, I think there's a bug with my version of the skin. Um, don't quote me on that, but you may want to find your own skin. Sorry for the confusion there, guys. But this skin is like made for me, and I don't have permission to distribute it from the guy who made it for me. Um, but essentially, uh, what you've got here is you've got your tactics and you've got your players. And you have these sliders for both your tactics and your team. So your tactics you do all through the sliders now. There's still a few drop-down menus and a few boxes to tick, but this will give you a lot more control over the tactics. As for players, you've not got the numbers here, but you get the same idea. You click on players and you can drag how attacking or defending they are. I mean, the numbers aren't essential, so don't go and get a skin just because yours doesn't have numbers. Um... But because it's not the end of the world. But basically, from these sliders, this is how you set your players' roles. There's no drop down menu for a preset for deep line playmaker. You have to set your player as someone who sits in the deep and passes the ball short. Uh, it's kind of a trade off, I suppose, you know? Um, you get what you're given. I believe that when you convert to classic, if you have a player set as deep line playmaker in a position, when you convert to classic, he keeps his sliders the same as a deep line playmaker. Um, in fact, I'm pretty sure that's the case. So that's one kind of, I guess, useful thing to know. So you might want to set your roles before you convert your tactics. But to be honest, by using these tactics, you really can kind of you you can take full control of your tactics, and it's something I very highly suggest. Um, 
Another just a quick useful tip while I think about it is that in this kind of formation, which is the two attacking midfielders and the wing backs, uh, I highly recommend having the inside these guys, like the people playing inside forward, to cut inside. And then if you're going to play with wing backs, have them hug touchline. Basically, what this will do is it'll mean they double t uh, double team on the wing back. But that's getting completely off topic now, you guys. This isn't a tips and tricks video where I tell you guys about tactics. Um, but no, guys, hopefully this answers the question about how I get the arrows, how I get the sliders and all that stuff. Uh, converting your tactic to classic is one of these things where it's... Um, it's a double-edged sword, you know, on the one hand you are going to get far more control over your team's tactics and player tactics, but at the same time you're sacrificing the ability to shout and really quickly select player roles. It's something that I wouldn't suggest if you're just getting into the game, but as you come, become more competent with the tactics and you want to kind of explore a little bit more, it's certainly worth dabbling into. Uh, guys, as always, if you've enjoyed this tips and tricks video, uh, let me know down below. If you have any questions with regards to the video and converting your uh, tactic to classic and getting the arrows feel free to leave that in the comments i will reply if you've got any suggestions for future tips and tricks videos or there's something that you'd like to ask me with regards to something that you've seen on one of my saves or just fm in general don't worry and don't hesitate about leaving that in the description too and other than that guys it's me jack and i'll talk to you guys in a bit i'm out